New tonight, a Middle Tennessee man pardoned not once, but twice. Robert Sherrill was among 73 people that President Trump granted pardons to on his last day in office. News 2's Stephanie Langston spoke with Sherrill about getting a second chance. All I ever done was sell drugs. I, I didn't know how to do anything else. And he paid the price. Robert Sherrill faced some drug charges in state court and later federal charges. At 25 years old, Sherrill served five years for distribution of cocaine. But today, that's all been erased from his criminal history. On my state record and federal record, all gone. It's a brand new start. I can do anything. The sky's the limit. An opportunity that started in 2019 as Governor Bill Haslam granted Cheryl a pardon in the form of executive clemency. But Cheryl didn't stop there, asking for a federal pardon, a request President Donald Trump granted in the final day of his presidency. He only pardoned 73 people. Cheryl's attorney David Rabin tells me in his 40 year career, he's never seen anyone receive two pardons, leading him to believe that Cheryl may be the first in Tennessee. I would just say it's very rare. Very, very rare. It's a gift from God, Cheryl says, that won't be taken for granted. It allows me to not walk around with that negative stigma because no matter how successful I've been, I still have a, this a stigma hanging over my head, right? And it's been able to psychologically restore me back to being a first class citizen. I'm going to write more books. I'm going to travel and speak and, and, and share my experiences and hopefully help somebody um, and just continue to, to develop and help the community. That's what my passion is. I just want to give back through my nonprofit, through education, however I can. Reporting out of North Nashville, Stephanie Langston, News 2. Cheryl is the CEO of Imperial Cleaning and gives back to the community through his nonprofit, Impact Youth Outreach.